She's been gone a while. She'll come back. If they catch her, they'll kill her. They won't catch her. She's costing us time. It's just that we need to get to Marine. Every day we lose here is a day that Talia or Ryan could be hurt, or, or, or worse. You must return home safely, Asher, and... Well, you, you have a history of putting your faith in women who may not deserve it. On call. Was it them? The Lost Legion? Aye. Too many for us to take. I counted about two dozen, maybe more, as well as horses. About half a mile down the canyon, and coming fast. Had to run my ass off to avoid getting caught. <laughs> it's nearly empty. You two care if I finish it off? It might be a while before we find more water. Nah. Drink up. Thanks. Right. We need to get moving. Lost Legion. We're a hundred miles from Yunkai. When are they going to give up? Never. They're still raw about Tazal. Yes, well, perhaps you shouldn't have snapped his neck. There is such a thing as overdoing. Not that I care about Tazal. Let me remind you, it was him who tried to kill us. I just returned the favor. Oh, don't doubt it. You always did have a gift for that sort of thing. It's only a matter of time before they overtake us. Ah, bugger a harpy. Can we double back? Not without meeting our mates from Yunkai. We're well and truly fucked this time, Asha. During severe winters, when the Skahazadan floods, it carves out great underground rivers in the sandstone. And? And when those waters recede, those rivers become caves. And those caves might hide us, if we can find them. I mean, we're trapped for the moment, but all I'm saying is we, we needn't die here. Just standing our ground. Beska, what do you think? By all means, listen to your uncle. If he's right about this, I may actually stab him. Do you think we could dig our way through? Or we'll try to scramble over. I don't know. Either will be slow and tricky. One wrong move and the whole thing could collapse on us. Well, we can't stay here, waiting for your butchered friends to corner us. Agreed. The faster we make a plan, the better. What do you think? Could we climb out of here? Pretty steep, Asha. And we'd be totally exposed if your friends arrived before we reached the top. It's not gonna happen. It's too unstable. You found anything? Not yet. What's on your mind? We all need to pull together if we're gonna get out of this and onto Marine. I can't have you and Beska scrapping. So much riding on this. Talia, Ryan, your mother. You and I are supposed to return to Westeros with a cell sword army, and I haven't the faintest idea how we're going to pull it off. So, if I seem a bit moody, that's why. How do you know all that? About the floods and the caves? I read all about Essos on the voyage over. Histories of Marine, histories of Slaver's Bay. I just hope it pays off. You see, Beska came back. She risked her life out there, for us. You trust her now? This may sound harsh, but Beska's immaterial. I have to put you first. 
You are all that matters to me, Asher. Beska matters to me. Let me know if you find anything. What in seven hells did you two do to rile these bastards so badly anyway? Well... Back when Asher and I first started running together in Volantis... Hey, Beska. Look, Malcolm's all right. I promise. He practically raised me. You know my father and I didn't get along. Well... He's an odd one. And he doesn't appear to like me much. He has a lot of things on his mind. The right things, I hope. I meant to say, thank you. I realize this isn't your fight. Our Marine is the last place you'd want to go. God, Sasha, don't go soft on me. Together till we're dead. You know anything else about these bastards hunting us? Well, obviously they hate you. Thanks. I figured that out on my own. You've heard the rumor, right? They carve their faces up as an initiation. Flay the skin right off. Looks like they're inside out. That's why they wear those helmets. <laughs> no. That's a load of horse shit. Beska, if you see anything... The rock slide looks recent. It could have been caused by the Targaryen girl's te- Looks like we're not alone. No obvious wounds. Maybe he died of thirst. Listen. That's water. I hear water. From underground. There might be a cave nearby. Look. Is that a cave? I think I see a light in there. A way through. Oh, we couldn't be that lucky. Oh, shit. It's them. Ponte Freedom! Kessirinzi! Shit! Come on! Look, go! Right behind us! This is Damn it! Russia! Find us another way out of here! Got it! What in seven hells is that smell? There's a light! Go! See if there's a way through! We'll hold them off! We've got a bigger problem. Ponte Osenas! Ponte Sir Osenas! Sir Cotino, 
Pasaltrīzēs! Siki bīvi lāci tisis! Vaka toski ar rapatās! Wars with worse than this. Hurry, the beast is coming around. Asha! Grab my hand! Hurry, Asha! It's nearly on you! Listen up, you sorry lot. Gather round. We're handing out assignments today. Garrett, <laughs> we'll be men of the watch before nightfall. Right. Sorry. No hard feelings over that business with Finn, yeah? I appreciate you not ratting me out over the knife. It's nice to know there's at least one brother I can trust. Just promise me you'll stop stealing things, Cotter. All right. I swear it. Never again. Well, no guarantees on potatoes or lamprey pie. Or for that matter. <laughs> Just messing with you, Garrett. I promise. I'll mend my thieving ways. Well, aren't you two sons of whores looking thick as thieves? Having a good laugh over nicking my knife, eh, Garrett? Men like you turn traitor for nothing. I didn't take anything from you. No, but you protected the bastard who did. You'll always be an asshole, Garrett. You're just a fucking craven. Oh, would you let it go? I've had enough of your shit, Finn. Fuck off, Garrett. Finn, leave him alone. It wasn't Garrett's fault. If you're gonna hate someone, hate me. With pleasure. Now, it doesn't matter what the world once called you. After today, you're all... Brothers, could even be that the man standing next to you saves your life one day. Or maybe you'll save his. Let's find out then, shall we? Casper to the builders. Finn to the rangers. Lobor to the stewards. Hugh to the rangers. Cotter to the builders. And finally, Garrett to the Rangers. That's it. May all the gods preserve you. Well, there we are. <laughs> I'll be patching up the wall, 
and you'll be defending it. Should you northern boys want your gods to give a blessing to this union, there's a weirwood tree beyond the wall. Now form up and follow my lead. Garrod, it's good to hear you'll be a ranger. Thank you. I know you wanted this. I'm ready to say my vows. I didn't have many friends when I first arrived at Castle Black. Grin and Pip, they'd as soon have seen me bloodied in the yard than offer a hand. Now... I'd die for either of them. Our brothers are all we have. Finn. Shows you what kind of ripe fools are running this place. I can't believe they made you a ranger. You're not fit for the job. Like it or not, we're brothers now. Means we're gonna have to get along. Don't count on it. You wouldn't even be here if you didn't have snow leading you by the hand the whole way. Well, people might help you if you weren't such an asshole, Finn. I wouldn't have to be if you all weren't assholes too. No one around here gives a shit about me. They wouldn't even care if I... <sighs> Do you know how many rangers are never heard from again in these parts? And I'm about to become one myself. All alone out here. Wildlings everywhere. Or wolves. Oh, God. Giant wolves. It's all right to be afraid. Keeps you alert, keeps you from being too confident. Like the next time we fight. I'll remember that fist of yours rattling my skull and I'll think twice. I suppose you're right. You want a different assignment? Because I hear they need someone to clean the shit house. <laughs> See, that's why I got so fucking mad at you, Garrett. You're the closest thing I have to a friend. You handled that well, Garrod. They say the old gods watch us through the weirwoods. More than watch us. They know us. The gods are not forgiving. We brothers have to be. We're here. After this, there's no going back. Now go. Take your vows. In the eyes of the old gods, the Night's Watch offers you a place beside us. Now say the words for all to hear and embrace us as your own. Hear my words, words and bear, bear witness, witness to my vow. Night, Night gathers, and now, now my watch, watch begins. begins. It, it shall, shall not end until my death. death. I, shall I shall take no take wife, wife hold, no lands, hold no lands, father no, father no children. I shall wear, I shall no, wear no crowns and win no, and win glory. no glory. I shall, I shall live, live and die, and die my at my post. I, I am the sword in the, the darkness. I am the watcher, watcher on the walls. walls. I am the shield I that guards the, the realms of men. 
pledge my life and honour to the Night's Watch for this night and all the nights to come. You knelt as boys. Rise now as men of the Night's Watch. Welcome to your new family, Garrett. We're men of the watch now. Means we get to piss off the wall whenever we want. Didn't know you needed an excuse to play with yourself, Finn. Garrett, you've got a visitor. Over there. Well, who is it? Do I look like your fucking squire? Don't forget the practice swords. Uncle Duncan! Garrett! It's good to see you. They told me you were at the Weirwood Tree. Wasn't sure you'd be back in time. What brings you here? A business with the Night's Watch. A delivery of ironwood shields, to keep you all out of harm's way. That settles it, then? Aye, the delivery looks in order. Oh, the gods do grant miracles. You look well, nephew. I'm told you're a ranger now. That's good. Uncle? Things aren't going well at Ironrath, Garrett. I know. I heard the news about Ethan. I was standing not five feet from him when Ramsay struck. It's a nightmare that plagues my dreams. But House Forrester is nothing, if not resilient. Our house has survived for centuries. I should have been there protecting Ethan. What good am I at the wall? That's why I'm really here. Do you recall Lord Forrester's last words to you? Just before he died, Gregor's final command, spoken to you in confidence. He said the North Grove must never be lost. Indeed. But first, it must be found. I've been reading his journals, scouring the legends for any clue what Lord Forrester knew. I think I've found the answer. He describes a fortification, a protected citadel of sorts, hidden from the world. One filled with great power. It was scattered among his notes. Almost an obsession. A vital secret he protected at all costs. Do you think this citadel can help us save House Forrester? Lord Forrester certainly believed so. He speaks of it as if he'd seen it himself. Somewhere north of the wall. And you must find it, Garrett. The search won't be easy. But you're a tuttle. Our Lord knew you wouldn't fail him. As do I. Somewhere north of the wall. That's not a lot to go on, Uncle. How am I supposed to find it? The first chance you get to head north, take it. And then? You leave the Night's Watch behind and strike out on your own. This is no small request I make. I know that. But there's no other choice. Uncle, that's desertion. The Night's Watch execute men who desert. I know. I wouldn't ask this of you if there was another way. This will help guide you. I found it hidden in Lord Forrester's strongbox. What is that? A page from our Lord's journal. But one he tore out and kept separate. Why? I don't know. It's a map. To the North Grove. Aye. This looks familiar. What is it, Garrett? Talia gave me this. Before I left. Oh. Wait. Lord Forrester gave Ethan a similar one as well. Roderick too. I wonder... Bloody ice dragon. Gods be good. Now that I would love to see. 
A mammoth? <laughs> this map's only missing grumpkins and snarks. And this can't be real, Uncle. I used to be frightened of where were trees. Well, before I was a man grown, I swear, I actually could hear them whispering sometimes. You said it was a citadel of some kind. Could this be it? No. No, it couldn't be that easy. It's hidden here somewhere. Look. There's a clasp. It must open. I had no idea this was inside. Another weirwood. But why? Maybe it's a key to solving the map. A perfect fit. Maybe it's telling us where to look on the map. Doesn't look right. Maybe try another. Oh, it's the whole map that has to turn. Aye. Wood's mouth, Uncle. Whatever this place is, the North Grove must be near. There's only one way to find out. Here, take this map. Everything we hold dear may well depend on your success. It's a lot to put on your shoulders. The lives of a whole house. Well, I'll try, Uncle. It's no small task. I'm still just a squire. I know what I'm asking of you. But I know you're up to the challenge. Gods watch over you. You're the son I never had. Let's go, Garrid! I don't know. They're probably like little shards or something. Wait, so... Like a weapon? Well... Your piss is like any other liquid, I reckon. Yeah, mine's mostly ale. And if it froze on the way down the wall, it probably... Well, that was rather mysterious. A stranger arrives and you're chatting him up. Someone said it was your uncle looking for you. Well, what did he want? Looked like you two had a lot to talk about. Must have been important to come to Castle Black. He happened to be nearby. Thought he'd say hello. This is about the last place anyone would want to visit. It looked like it gave you something. It, it was nothing. Let's go and celebrate. Already keeping secrets from your brothers, eh? Ah, uh, Garrett's right. The wall's gonna melt before we get up there. Come on. <laughs> 